Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Lamar 102 by 32 foot gooseneck deck over hydraulic dovetail. So it's a 32 foot. The breakdown would be 23 foot of flat, 9 foot of dovetail at the rear. Pretty much everything you see here is standard equipment. The only thing that's not standard equipment I'll show you in the neck. This has electric hydraulic brakes. So the actuator you'll see in the neck of the trailer. Uh, this one here does have upgraded 12,000 pound axles as well. We also keep these in stock with tandem 10,000 pound axles. As far as running gear, tires are the same on 10s and 12s. Uh, you'll see here in a bit the axle beams are going to be a little bit different. So again, other than this having 12K axles and hydraulic brakes, everything you see here all comes as standard equipment. 2 and 5 16th inch gooseneck ball. Uh, it does have an adjustable neck, four slots. Of course, uh, on your gooseneck, important to set your bolts down once you get it where you need so that you don't uh, make a wobble on your pin. Uh, seven pin RV blade style plug, standard equipment. You will notice this is a cold weather style or cold weather whip. You can flex that down to negative 65 degree temperatures. Uh, of course, standard safety chains. And this is gonna be an I-beam frame. It comes to an I-beam upright and then of course, uh, your I-beam neck. One of the nice features we like on Lamar, it's got your gussets going from the vertical to the horizontal, and then from your vertical out to your side rail. Of course, dual jacks and a full front toolbox for standard equipment. This unit also gets a spare tire in the neck. Again, standard. Uh, one of the options here would be the hydraulic brake actuator. Uh, this unit does have hydraulic uh, disc brakes. That is an option. It's an option that we do like on 12k axles. Just gives you a premium stopping capability. Uh, per the axle manufacturer's charts, they say uh, roughly a 300 foot traditional stop on an electric brake, you're going to do in about 200 uh, on an electric hydraulic brake setup. So again, we said this trailer is going to be about 23 foot of flat deck, and then your tail on this is going to make up your last nine feet couple things, uh, side steps on both sides. That's standard. Uh, you also notice a lot of manufacturers uh, will put two pieces of channel in the back of the neck. Some of them, though, don't put the gussets that I was telling you about earlier. Uh, for tie downs, we've got rub rail, chain spools, and also uh, stake pockets. Two by eight pressure treated lumber. Uh, underneath the trailer, you're going to have an underframe bridge that starts at 30 foot in length. This being a 32 is going to have that. Of course, a 12 inch I beam frame. Now, I will note that is a 19 uh, foot pound frame. Some in the industry are going to use a 16. And then you've got 16 inch on center cross members. This has a side mount toolbox with your hydraulics, and it's also got the 110 volt charger. Batteries in its own separate battery box. You've got a KTI pump. So on this, you're going to end up with a front and a uh, side mount toolbox. One thing you don't always see in the industry on these would be the self-cleaning dovetail. It goes all the way out to your tail. You got about three foot, roughly, a tread plate at the rear. Of course, uh, mud flaps aren't traditionally standard equipment, but they put them on here standard. So let me show you how this works. So basically, we've got an up, a down, and a gravity down, which is nice. Most in the industry don't give you the gravity. So basically, we're going to take this up past level. Okay, and what you're going to see is basically it opens up there. Now we're just going to push this handle down. And believe it or not, you can do it with one hand. Just makes it difficult. So there you go. So again, nine foot tail. This would be a 23 plus nine. Makes it uh, nice for going up the tail with those cleats. Got your center wood and then your outers with the self cleating. Moving back forward, this has your spread axle design. It's 
Got your Dexter brand axle with your oil bath hubs. It's got a 235 ADR 16 10 ply radial tire. Uh, one thing on Lamar's you're going to find are extra markers going down the side. Traditionally, you'll see marker front and rear. This one's got uh, several going down the side. Looks like three in the front, three in the back. And then you've also got your mid marker light. And uh, charcoal powder coating is also standard equipment. Per the manufacturer tag, it says this trailer is going to weigh in at about 7,200 pounds. It sounds just a touch light, uh, but in the ballpark. Uh, at that number, a 24,000 pound GVW minus 72 is going to give you about 16,8. It also does not count your tongue weight. Tongue weight is generally, they say, 22% in a gooseneck. Generally, a more accurate number, if you want a very precise number, is about 1% from the coupler to the front axle. Uh, using 22%, you're about 5,000 pound on the pin, which is going to give you about 16.2 on the truck side. It's going to give you about 5, I'm sorry, 16.2 on the trailer side, about 5,000 on the truck side. Total legal payload would be about 21 fully, perfectly balanced, maxed out. Realistically, 20 is a pretty safe number uh, on a unit like this. We do bring this in in different configurations, as mentioned, 10 and 12K axles. Sometimes we'll bring it in in different lengths. 10K axles, traditionally electric brakes. 12K axles, generally we'll get the electric hydraulic brakes. If you have any questions on this unit or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thank you.